This is Amori Povich. My name is Trixie Mattel, and I'm 24 years old. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, here's another comedy queen. She got her overdrawn lips and clown makeup. She is ready to go. I'm a hair and makeup artist. So I think a lot of the queens don't necessarily get where I'm coming from. Drag queens always say, paint for the back row. I paint for the check cashing place down the street. The maxi challenge this week is to create resort wear that has a tearaway to reveal a new delusion. I pride myself on utilizing literally none of my natural features. So a challenge where I have to compete with these beautiful fishy girls with perfect bodies to me is a worst case situation. So your partner, are you guys like married or? Yeah, but we got married last year. My boyfriend's family, I went home for Christmas with them and they really liked me. And then they found out about drag and they called him like in a panic, like, we don't want you with somebody who does this. Are you for real? Yeah. They don't like drag. I don't understand how they don't get that it's just me playing a person. His mom said Trixie's like clown drag makes me sick to my stomach. Is oh what my she told god. Them. They were right about one thing. Uh. <laughs> Trixie Mattel. She can't play, she doesn't have any balls. I'm doing Valley Girl, she's at the resort, she's playing a little tennis. Show us your birdie. Oh, surprise! I kind of look like a doll, so I'm giving you hinges. Life in plastic is fantastic. A living doll. She's like Skipper's sister, stripper. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hello, hello, hello! Whoa. Congratulations, ladies. For today's mini challenge, you need to give face, face, face while the pit crew blows you with a leaf blower. <laughs> the two winners of today's mini challenge are Ginger Minge and Trixie Mattel. Congratulations, ladies. Let's bust a move. Just don't break a hip. Trixie Mattel. Girl, your <laughs> is on once a month Boniva. <laughs> Trixie Mattel. Bearded for the gods. Heavenly. It's like I just stepped out of an oil painting and I'm taking him to church. And now with wings. <laughs> Is she a ZZ top or a ZZ bottom? As I promised last week, one of the eliminated queens is returning. Do you want to know who? No. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready? Come on out, kitty girl. Oh! oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Trixie. Hi. I look like I'm gonna trade some girls some soap for some new makeup, girl. <laughs> Trixie Mattel, that means you're back in the race, girl. Woo! <laughs> I'm back, yay! I thought I was fourth episode queen, bye. I thought it was Mimi, I'm first. And now I'm Mimi, I'm second chance. <laughs> Katya. Where do you get your outfits, girl? American, apparently not. <laughs> Ginger Minge. Girl, did you ever save Carol Ann from the poltergeist in the TV? <laughs> Violet. I don't believe the rumors. I don't believe you took Sharon Needle's crown. <laughs> I don't believe you're taking this one either. Oh. <laughs> the winner of today's mini challenge is Trixie Mattel. Yeah. I'm back. Trixie Mattel has way more up her sleeve. Ginger Minge and Trixie Mattel in eggs. Your country breakfast is ready. <laughs> Babs, I'm so hungry. Please come here. I'm coming, Mama. In the morning when the sun comes out, I get hungry like I've never eaten. Every day I hear her scream and shout, always yelling for her daily feeding. All night long I only dream for. Then at 10.30 I hear her scream for. X, 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 all I want is X. Mama, do you want them over easy? No way! I want them sunny side up since the sun is shining. Has the Eggman come to us today? 
I'm sure he'd stop by if you stop your whining. Oh, I love him so for bringing what I dream for. He'll leave another dozen right at the screen door. Eggs, 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 all I want is eggs. Eggs, 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 all I want is eggs. Eggs, 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 all I want is eggs. Eggs, 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 all I want is eggs. Eggs, eggs. <laughs> deeply, deeply disturbing. <laughs> Master Queef Theater presents The Fake Housewives of RuPaul's Drag Race. How do I sleep at night? <laughs> Ask your husband. <laughs> That's how I roll. <laughs> that is such a waste. That would have killed if someone was here. I'm Trixie Mattel, and I am the crownless drag superstar from season seven. I came here to eclipse people with my talent, but also with my hair. There's nobody in here. It's like a Morgan Michaels meet and greet. I feel like in the real world, I've been a real all-star. But on Drag Race, I was not an all-star. Howdy, y'all. You went for the comedy gold, but all we got was bronze. I need to make amends for the fact that I came in here and just hit the cement and got dragged out like a dead body. Twice. It's not about falling, it's about getting back up. Up next, the musical stylings of Trixie Mattel. Living's like a jigsaw. And the farther in you go, if you're missing pieces, you never really know. When you're ticking like a timepiece on which you can't rely, wonder why you wanted when you're running out of time. Sometimes there's a danger of choking on the parts. No one gave a warning to the breaking of your heart. Pick up all the pieces and go back to the start. Never losing, only using all your moving parts. All your moving parts. So much, you're a beautiful driver. I really appreciate it. Oh <laughs> my god, that taxi was disgusting. It smelled like a barn. He was gross. He was late. He drove like a maniac. Hi, I'm Trix Mattel. I'm 27 years old, and I'm from sunny West Hollywood. And some people might say I'm fake, but those people are alcoholics. He's not even that good looking. I have to go. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, you're even cuter in person than you are on TV. Oh, that's very sweet of you. You can have like this sexy, like Denzel, like Gilbert Gottfried, like, <laughs> but like sensual. Do you know what I mean? Hey. I like my men like I like my coffee. Incapable of loving me back. <laughs> Bye, Jason. Uh, Sorry, Jared. Jeff <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Oh my God, you are so funny. Stop. Oh, stop. I said stop. You're literally killing me. You're so funny. I want to get to know you both a little bit better. <laughs> is this your house? Wait, yeah. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. This is like the prettiest refurbished like Cheesecake Factory mall kiosk I have ever been to. Thank you very much. Do you remember when you wore these shirts on Unreal? Uh, I know the style. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've seen every episode of Unreal. You I have like every You don't know Jeffrey like I know Jeffrey. Hold on, I have to take this. Yeah, I'm here now. No, she's you, like a weird do tourist Do I come across girl. as like crazy though? Oh. Like, do I look crazy? That's just a really strong word. He's like yeah. a five. I can't like... handle it right now. I can't handle it. You're a little different. Yeah. I know Trixie is playing a fake bitch, but baby, those facial expressions are real. No, he, no, <laughs> no he's like a five. He's like, like an LA two. Stop talking to me. What? Oh my god. If steam could come off a wig, she would have those little lines above her hair where the heat is rising because Miss Thing is hot. That Milky is cutting her off. <laughs> People call me psycho, but 
I don't think I'm psychotic. I just think I'm really passionate about finding love. Yeah. Wow, the and leaves. That's in, why I'm too. here. Me too, Mel. The leaves you. in your hair are so fun. I wish you would leave. Milk is just going way overboard. It's been great, ladies. It's been it's been <laughs> an incredible pleasure. <laughs> Bye, Gerald. <laughs> It's Jeffrey. Welcome to another day at the office. Aren't you feeling gorgeous? Aren't you feeling technically amazing? Milk Someday wants to have a challenge inspired by her, and I bet you next season they'll be like, this week on the runway you'll be crying because you're only safe. <laughs> How are you? I really, really want to win a challenge. Right. I've never even been in the top, so I really hope today it can happen. Right. The first time I was on Drag Race, I kind of just floated until I got flushed. All people knew about me was that I did not excel at Drag Race and didn't win any challenges. And I never had my star moments. And this time I like have to change that. I don't really like need validation, but like to have one good week here would really help the momentum for the rest, you know. I feel you. Being safe all the time, you start to feel invisible. In the real world, I'm a Beyonce, but in the Drag Race world, I'm just a Latavia. It doesn't matter on Drag Race what you've done in the real world. In these four fake brick walls, you are garbage until proven otherwise. Trixie Mattel. Oh, look who's here, Rue. It's Lady Bunny. Yes! I'm Lady Bunny passed out on a deck chair in Palm Springs, getting a sunburn, and then boom! Oh! Oh my god, it's a Tatiana, same part, Dennis the Menace fantasy. Take another little piece of my hair now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Trixie Mattel. Hi, guys. When you came out, I was feeling immediately like if Lady Bunny and Kesha had a baby. Were you doing Lady Bunny? What was that about? I thought, can Lady Bunny become Naomi Smalls? Turns out, yes. <laughs> <laughs> In The Bitchler, your character was so spot on. It was basically Paris Hilton. I was very impressed from the second you walked out and you were on the phone and you weren't paying attention. I was like, oh, we know exactly who you are. And it was everything I wanted. But I felt like you were getting talked over a little bit. We were advised to try not to talk over each other. It was kind of like jump roping. I was kind of waiting sometimes for the moment. I felt you waiting. However, when you did get those lines in, they were hilarious. All right, well, thanks, Chixie. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even know this was happening. I'm going to do like a pensive rich woman. <laughs> OK. Oh my god. All right. There's so much going on. <laughs> The maxi challenge is to create a soup that reflects who you are as a drag persona. Last week, I believed I was going home. And this week, I love sewing, I love making costumes, and I'm actually really good at branding and selling stuff. So I'm feeling really good. I want to win a challenge. Is anybody else doing energy? Well, I'm not doing energy, I'm doing sugar. When I think of myself, I think of sweet. Aja's making something really sweet because she's sweet. Like sweets, like come get your sugar rush type. Like I want my soup to be a candy soup. A candy flavored soup, it's not interesting and doesn't really brand you at all. That's like crazy. Work for your sister, please. Oh, mother Here we go. <gasps> Girl! Shangela, what'd you do? <laughs> Can I help you? I don't know what I did, but I didn't do right. Oh, so. that is wrong. <laughs> This is an opportunity for me to, at least in a small way, thank her for saving me last week. This is what you're going to do. Put this on your body. Because if this fits, this could scratches. be really cute. Mama, it ain't going to fit over my body, though. Oh, it doesn't small? stretch. Go lower. Go doesn't lower. Doesn't stretch? I didn't know the fabric doesn't stretch. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Did it fit? No, no. bitch! <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. It's elimination day. We're going to present our looks and our soup cans to the judges, and one of us is going to get canned. Soup can. Trixie Mattel, open wide and get a taste of my non-refillable, prescription-only, habit-forming, heart-slowing goodness. <laughs> Just like my soup, I'm inspired by rainbows, little birdies, and the re-emerging dark recesses of a rocky childhood. <laughs> Side effects include drowsiness, nausea, depression, suicidal thoughts, or a broken DVR. Looks like children of the corn chowder. <laughs> <laughs> Trixie Mattel, a whore by any other name, is still a whore. 
OMG, girl. Last night I dreamed I was in the front row of Tiffany Amber Thiessen's fashion show, seated between Karen from Finance and John Wayne, who's looking better than ever. <laughs> then I raced to dinner with Soleil Moonfry, Betsy Johnson, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and all they could talk about was rhinestoning their lady parts. <laughs> wow, I love life. Bro, who needs a horse toe when you can have a camel? <laughs> Up next, Trixie Mattel. Hi, guys. All I can say is RIP to this challenge, because you murdered it. Oh. The can came out. You could have been backstage, and I would have known that was your can. This is definitely giving me disco Barbie. I mean, the whole look is so great. It tells me a story of a country girl who decided, I have to fit in at Studio 54. Yeah. <laughs> and the best part about it is, you made it. I did. You know what your body shape is, the arms, the legs, the width, even the camel toe. It's all good. There's not enough money in the world for me to put tape on my dick. You have a dick? <laughs> I think it's in the back somewhere. I don't know if you got the invite late or what, but you RSVP'd and you showed up today. The Trixie that I wanted has finally arrived. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep. I'll tell you what, after Adam Lambert last week, I tried to smile at Ross the whole time. <laughs> <sighs> it felt like you were like over me being there. Were you bothered when Adam said that you were standoffish? Well, only because people have told me before that my tone is just so dry that they thought I was angry. Sometimes tricks delicious. You don't mean to give that off, yeah. but it's unintentional. Well, oh, girl, because perception is reality. I might accidentally sometimes come off as standoffish. I mean, Trixie on stage is fun and bubbly, but me in real life, a lot of the times I'm just like a boring white dude who doesn't like hugs. So I get how that can read. It's something I always have wanted to change about myself. Our whole industry is interpersonal communications. If you're not friendly enough, someone thinks you're a jerk. Remember that thing in West Hollywood, Morgan? I got tweets from other Drag Race girls saying that I was acting grand. Mm -hmm. I'm not super social, so a lot of times I'm just saving it for the audience. Trixie Mattel. She clearly likes to be reamed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, all-stars. Let's begin with a sneak peek of your movie, which has already been banned in 47 countries. <laughs> Glamazon Studios presents the most important film of all time. I know you're busy, so I'll keep this quick. I'm getting the old gang together, and I want you guys to be my maids. Oh, hell no. I'm a rocket scientist now. <laughs> my bridesmaids, I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Coming this summer, all your favorite award-winning actresses come together in My Best Squirrel Friends Drags Maid's Wedding Trip. <laughs> Trixie Mattel is Sharon Frakovich. Yeah, that's all you got, lady. Two big feet and ugly <laughs> shoes. Here comes the bride. <laughs> Poisoning the wig water supply? Big mistake. Huge. <laughs> Ladies, don't move. You are all under arrest. Now put your legs behind your head. <laughs> You're a dirty cop, and I'm a whistleblower. Yeah. Okay, honey, launch that rocket. <laughs> and when these divas let loose, who knows what drama will happen? How dare you invite another dancer here? I deserve to be made of honor. Give me that trophy. He's dead. You killed him. Why does this always happen to me? But when the church organ is canceled, you gotta be. Kidding me! <laughs> Will they make it down the aisle? This is some how to get away with murder. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Pow! Girl, you don't need an organist. You've got us. We ate Octavia's oh. pie. <laughs> Hit it! You guys really are the best squirrel friends. <laughs> so if you love the poop scene in Bridesmaids, but also love highbrow award-winning actresses, then you'll love my best squirrel friends Dragsmaids wedding trip. Rated PU. Up next, Trixie Mattel. What's your favorite book, just off the top of your head? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This outfit is everything. And then in the acting challenge, you were so much fun. Because every take, you tried something new. <gasps> and that moment where you used the baby's hand to wipe your hair, I died. You are now pushing yourself out of the Trixie Mattel 
box, so to speak, and you're making yourself do things that maybe wouldn't be in your comfort zone, yeah. but I think you taking those risks is paying off in spades. Thank you, I think so too. Hi guys! Boo. <laughs> I'm walking into the deliberation with the jury, and I'm very confident. I know you thought that this would throw me. <laughs> Trix, how do you feel right now? I feel good, I feel great, I feel wonderful, I really do. You guys know the first half of the season, I was pretty like, <gasps> but then like when I just got it, it was like, oh my God. How does it change so quickly for you? When I fell in the bottom for the first time, I sort of emotionally experienced the worst thing that could have happened. So then I was like, well, in the next show, I'm just gonna do whatever I want. And then it worked. Having that break in the middle of the competition where it just all got really bad, it just made me like shrug off every piece of anxiety. It's okay to get butterflies in your stomach. You just teach them to fly in perfect formation. So out of the top four, is there anybody that you would be really proud to lip sync against that we should choose? I think Shangela is and was and will always be an all-star even before she got here because she didn't even have a very long run on Drag Race and she did the most with it. That's fierce. Now I have a way more devilish question. Oh God. <laughs> if there was a queen in the top four who you would chop off to make it a top three, who would it be? I'm kind of torn between Kennedy and BB for different reasons. I think many of us have shown so much growth in being off Drag Race for a year, five years, two years. BB's been off Drag Race like 10 years and I don't think the growth is like 10 years of growth. And then, like Kennedy's outfit today, for example, on season seven, Kennedy's finale runway was like a rainbow dress. That was like light years nicer than the one she wore today. Sometimes I think she just doesn't have full perspective of even her own gifts. Your brand is very like stamped. How can you broaden that with this title? Ever since season seven, I have done what RuPaul calls stepping your pussy up. I went on tour as a comedian, topped the iTunes charts in folk music, in drag, and then I went on to even star in and develop my own television show, and I felt like an all-star before I got here. Oh, we love you, Aww. bitch. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Welcome, ladies. Madam Forewoman, has the jury chosen the final two all-stars to lip sync for their legacy? Yes, Rue. Morgan, you may tell the queens who you and the jury have chosen to lip sync for their legacy. Well, we tallied up the votes, and the top two all-stars are... Kennedy Davenport. And Trixie Mattel. Kennedy, Trixie, the top two all-stars of the season stand before me. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me, win $100,000, a crown and scepter from Fierce Drag Jewels, and earn your place in the Drag Race Hall of Fame. The time has come. Did you lip sync? for your legacy. Good luck, and don't it up. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain. We jumped, never asking why. We kissed, I fell under your spell of love. No one could deny Don't you ever say I just walked away I will always want you I came in like a wrecking ball I, I want to be the top all-star because nobody in the history of Drag Race has spun straw into gold from this experience like I have. I've proven that you can have a bad day and then go on to have so many good days. 
me getting to lip sync for my legacy, it feels like a victory lap. I came in like a rainbow. I never hit so hard in love. All I wanted was to break you up. All you ever did was break me. I came in like a rainbow. Yeah, I just closed my eyes as well. Ladies, I have made my decision. The queen who has earned her spot in the Drag Race Hall of Fame, the champion of All Stars 3, is... Trixie Mattel. You're a champion. You're a winner, baby. You're a champion. You work mountain. I just won RuPaul's Drag Race all three <laughs> My queen, <laughs> is there anything you'd like to say? I know you guys are looking for somebody who can carry a legacy as an all-star. I feel like I've been carrying that legacy since I left the first time. So this means a lot. Thank you very much. Now prance, my queen. Prance! I remember being the weird new queen in Milwaukee that nobody even wanted to give a gig to. And now I'm standing here at the very top of Drag Excellence, and I am so, so proud. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel, and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.